It's time. There is only one man in the history of Pro Wrestling 225, if you ask me, who has been able to accomplish what this man has been able to accomplish over the last 12 months. Who else can say that they have withstood a 60-minute Iron Man matchup and scored the three points necessary to come out the winner and become the SEC champion. This man is the ultimate in pro wrestling 225. Tonight, he looks to cash in on his super gold victory. He is the Iron Man. He is gilded from Super Gold. But tonight is all about fulfilling his destiny. Can he be the first man to be the SEC champion and the Pro Wrestling 225 heavyweight champion at the same time? It's a promise he's made. Can he keep it? Can he do it? I'll tell you this. I am just a big a fan of Vladimir Koloff as the next guy. I get it. Man's incredibly talented. He's got all the tools. This is not your average champion he's up against here tonight. Christian Blake knows a thing or two about winning Super Gold. Christian Blake knows a thing or two about heavyweight championship matches. This is gonna be the toughest test for Vladimir Koloff today. It's title for title. At 225 Mania. Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Champion. One half of the over boys. He is the game changer. He is a fighting champion. The winningest man in the history of Pro Wrestling 225. This man has proven the doubters wrong time and time again. Christian Blake lives for stepping up. He lives for these big match situations. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, it does not get any bigger than title for title, 225 Mania. The biggest match in the history of Pro Wrestling 225's eight years. It all happens right now in the middle of that ring. This is the biggest test of Koloff's career. But make no mistake, I guarantee you, this is the biggest test of Christian Blake's career. Just think about it. Where is he mentally? No Brady and Landry, no Jordan Ja. Here we go.
what a moment. I've got chills right now. This is going to be insane. These two, obviously, no love lost for each other. Just look at this stare down. Both the SEC Championship and Pro Wrestling 225 Championships on the line at the same time for only the second time in the history a pro wrestling 225, Spencer. Hats off to you. That was an incredible introduction. Great job. Does it get any bigger than this? Absolutely not. Title for title. These two have been on a collision course for years. And now it all comes to a head in the main event of 225 Mania. Vladimir Koloff taking a look at that heavyweight title, taking a look at his destiny. Can he do it? The wait is over. We're about to see it. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. These two face to face. I mean, you could cut the tension with a knife. Just unbelievable. We are underway here in our main event of 225 Mania, the biggest match in the history of pro wrestling 225. And listen to this. I don't think the champion was expecting the coal off section here in Albany. You must have brought some friends, Landon. Listen, it's not just me. It is undeniable what Vladimir Koloff brings to the table. But look, take nothing away from our heavyweight champion, Christian Blake, the winningest man in pro wrestling 225 history. The deck is stacked against him tonight, though. Mentally, think about it. How can he possibly slow the momentum of a man who comes out the winner of a 60-minute Ironman match, who comes out the winner of a 25-man rumble to make it right here. A man who made the promise a year ago that this is exactly where he would be. He'll be the first man to hold the SEC title and the heavyweight title. If he's going to do it, he's got to do it right here. He's got to beat the man right there. And the man right now is Christian Blake. Layden, I think you can talk all you want about the momentum of Vladimir Koloff because you're absolutely right. He is as much on a roll as anyone has ever been in 225. But I think the exact same could be said about Christian Blake, the winningest man in 225 history, has won 13 matches in a row. You know where that streak started? 
at Friday the 13th Night Fights, where he beat Vladimir Koloff. So the question is, can Koloff stop the momentum of the game changer who refuses to lose no matter the odds? Listen, this has come full circle, no doubt. This thing, and you know who hasn't forgotten that, is our SEC champion, Vladimir Koloff. You think he hasn't been thinking about that loss this past year and a half? No, I think the word that you would have to use to describe Koloff is obsessed. But as you see, that sharp kick right to the spine of Koloff, as obsessed as Koloff has been, that might be as focused as our champion is, Landon. All this talk about needing more Koloff, Christian Blake has made the point crystal clear that he needs more knee. And it might just be that one knee tonight that takes care of Koloff. And then Christian Blake would be the first ever man to be the heavyweight and the SEC champion. And I don't know that Koloff would ever recover. Look at this. Matt wrestling back and forth between these two. This is exactly what you expect out of a champion. And, and what a treat we have. Our two champions clashing here at 225 Mania. We are in store for what's sure to be one of the best matches in the history of 225. Well, and how evenly matched have they been so far, right? Exactly what we expected. This thing is gonna come down to who makes the mistake. Not only who's making the mistakes, but who's able to capitalize on every opportunity that your opponent provides you. And let me tell you right now, there's not gonna be very many of those opportunities. Seems like Christian Blake gets the upper hand on the first exchange of strikes. And I don't care who you are, I, I don't know that I wanna get in the ring and strike against one-on-one -on -one with the game changer. He's as tough as they come. Well, let me tell you something. Nine times out of 10, I'd agree with you. But this is the biggest match in Vladimir Koloff's career. He is going to have to step his game up. And the only way he can do that is if he gets in there and throws hands with Christian Blake. He's gonna have to do it if he wants to win the title. Well, and bend the rules, as we've seen already. Breaks through the eyes, choking out the champion. I don't think he was disqualified. I'm just saying, I didn't say broke, I said bend the rules, Landon, and he has done that time and time again. Pull off in the corner, catches a huge forearm. Oh, right to the back of the head. Cover. Kick out at one. Christian Blake knew he was not going to take care of Koloff then, but it's a mind game. It is about wearing out Koloff, showing him as many times as you can that you have the upper hand. And look at this, just washing the boot across Koloff's face. And Christian Blake can be the most dangerous whenever he keeps that. He's, he's got his opponent right in the palm of his hand. He picks up that pace, lightning quick, like you'd never expect from a man of his stature. Well, one of the things that Christian Blake said in the lead up to his match with Van Vicious at Super Gold was because there was no Jordan Ja and because there was no Brett Ann Landry, that meant Christian Blake had no voice of reason. And that is absolutely gonna be the case again oh. tonight. Hard forearm. Vladimir Koloff baits Christian Blake out here to the outside. Now Koloff has Christian Blake where he wants him. Oh, God. Christian Blake's skull goes crashing into the posts out here. DJ Petrie letting Vladimir Koloff know that not too much more of that's going to slide. But the damage has oh. been done. That time, I think, also got the shoulder there of Christian Blake. Yeah, absolutely, because now you see Koloff targeting the arm of the game changer. Genius, absolutely genius. We've seen time and time again that Blade Barrage is one of the most effective tools in the arsenal of Christian Blake. There it is, there it is. You see that? You see that? It's over. My destiny, my destiny. 
Will the destiny be fulfilled? Oh no, wait a minute, turns things around. Christian Blake. Good Lord. And one for Spencer. A little, little, little bit, a little bit. That's right. One for me. Come on, Christian. Listen, I, I want to be, no, the hell I don't. I don't want to be unbiased. I'm going for the game changer. There's no way in hell I want Cole off to win both of these belts. Come on, Blake. Oh, no. Into the steps. And again, it was that same arm, that side of the shoulder that went crashing into those steps. And obviously, our official DJ Petrie choosing to be very lenient with the count here, allowing both men to be outside the ring for an extended period. Nobody wants to see this title for title match end in a count out. Certainly not. Not how anybody would want to. No one would be sent home happy then. DJ Petrie, best man for the job here tonight. Vladimir Koloff, Christian Blake, one on one for all the marbles. You know, Koloff, that, that buzzword, that word he kept using over and over again in this whole journey is destiny, right? Landon, did you ever stop to think, ooh, as again, he's targeting that arm of the champion. Did you ever stop to think that perhaps it's his destiny to lose? That it's Christian Blake's destiny to be the first man to hold both championships, and maybe Koloff has been reading this whole thing wrong this whole time. Listen, I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibility that Christian Blake becomes that man, but if you look at the data, right, look at the momentum that Vladimir Koloff is on right now. These huge matches, time and time again, they stack the deck against Koloff, and he finds a way to win. He is the SEC champion. Christian Blake on the other side of the coin. Yes, he's a fighting champion. Yes, he's been defending that title time and time again. However, is oh. he a broken man mentally? Think of the man who took that who he took that title away from, that SEC title away from. His brother Jordan Ja. Where is Jordan Ja? Spencer, where is Brett Ian Landry? win in the biggest match of Christian Blake's career. Where are the overboards? It sure doesn't seem like destiny to me is on Christian Blake's side tonight. Cover. Koloff in firm control here after taking advantage of using the apron and the ring post to target the arm of Christian Blake. But I gotta tell you, Landon, I think even though we've seen a lot of the Game Changer posting online about the Overboys, you know, mentioning where have they been, talking about going it alone, but that could just as much fire him up to get the job done tonight on his own. He talked about momentum as Blake builds momentum trying to get back to his feet. But you talked about momentum. Koloff winning the Super Gold 7 Bumble. Bordell Walker, Ryan Awesome, RJW, Purple Hayes, Simon Phillips, Van Vicious, Corey Constantine. Nothing but victories for the game changer. You can't talk about momentum and leave Christian Blake's name out. What a match this has been so far. We expected nothing less between these two. Look at this. That Yurinagi absolutely plants Christian Blake. And a kick out at two. That's all right, that's all right. Much like you said earlier, I don't think Vladimir Koloff necessarily was ready to put Christian Blake away. He is chipping away at the champion. It's exactly what he needs to do. Let us not forget, Landon, after Koloff won the Rumble at Super Gold 8, 
when those two men came face to face, it was the game changer that struck first. He wants this fight. Things are difficult as he gets his arm slung across that metal barricade. But if anyone is up for this battle, it's gonna be Christian Blake. Man, just think of all the battles that we've seen Christian Blake, the wars that we've seen him in this past year plus as champion. I mean, you know, think about it. I Wait, hold on, he's got the chain. This is not a no disqualification match as far as I'm concerned, as far as I've been told. That's a real quick way to get disqualified. Oh, oh God! Catching Cole off off guard. And just like that, momentum shifts back to the champion. Again, our official being very, very lenient here, Landon. Koloff's face bounces off of that steel barricade. These pro wrestling 225 fans are getting, man, they are getting their money's worth of those front row seats, I'll tell you that. Christian Blake's skull just bashed off of the post. Oh my God. Koloff's getting hot here with the referee. I... Wow, Christian Blake hurt hard. Koloff taking a moment to look at the prize. Blake has barely moved. Christian oh my Blake. God. Good Lord, Christian Blake absolutely demolished here at the hands of Vladimir Koloff. Clearly, clearly busted open from that shot against that unforgiving ring post. Christian Blake is in trouble. Oh. And Koloff is doing nothing more than trying to open that cut on the head of the game changer. This is a scary, scary situation for Christian Blake. Things are looking a little dire for our heavyweight champion as Koloff, big knee. Said he needed more coal off, right? Going for the cover. Are we gonna have a new heavyweight champion? No, a kick out at two. Vlad can't get frustrated here. He's gotta figure out a way to put the pieces together. Still got plenty of tools in the chest. Koloff said that he's not running up a hill. He's trying to knock Christian Blake off a mountain. And this is just nasty, man. Vladimir Koloff will do everything necessary. Yes, he's got some blood on his hands. That's the blood of a god, the blood of a champion. That's what it takes to become the man here in Pro Wrestling 225. Don't give me that that he's willing to cover his hand in blood. How about the champion who's willing to battle back, who's willing to get cut open and still fight back with everything he has? That's a champion right there. Heads up. Cannonball, no. Oh. Double knees right to the face. I don't think Christian Blake's Both shoulders are down here. And another close call there. How did he two. do it? How did he do it? Call off. 
himself now just yelling in the face of Christian Blake. These two absolute warriors going to any lengths to be the double champion. Man, title versus title, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Ooh. Mocking Blake with the signal for the overboys. And that might be it. The cover on Blake. Hits Blake with the twisted metal. He's still alive! Call back to his brother, Jordan Ja. But that may have been the worst possible move Vladimir could have made. New life breathed into the lungs of Christian Blake. The utter disrespect. Blake will not die. Look at these shots. Whips Cole off across. Takes him down with the clothesline. And there's another. The champion, the heavyweight champion is heating up. Power slam. Cover on Koloff. And a kick out at two. But that, that burst came out of almost nowhere from Christian Blake. And all of a sudden, we are even again back where we started. This is exactly what Vladimir Koloff needed to avoid. This lightning quick offense, these strong shots, that Cajun strong style is exactly why Christian Blake is the heavyweight champion. But I think you said it, Landon. If the game changer goes on to win this match, Koloff can point to using that twisted metal as maybe the turning point in this match and his mistake. As they trade blows now, Christian Blake getting the advantage as he so often does when he strikes against his opponents. But wait, gets caught. And birth of bomb. Plants him, center of the ring. One, two, and new champion. No! Blake kicks out again. The blood of the champion on the mask of Vladimir Koloff. Symbolic of this head-to-head -head war. Oh man, Vladimir Koloff struggling to stay on his feet right now. But if he can do this, if he can hit the sickle, this one's as good as over. Almost! Blake ducks under. Oh, how about that? Koloff now is down and kicks out. Back and forth we go for the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight and SEC Championships. This is awesome. The Pro Wrestling 225 family letting our champions know just how awesome this moment is. Who is going to come out on top? And now this thing is broken down. These two men giving absolutely everything they have. Their body, their blood. Both men beaten down, both men tired, both men having to pull out whatever extra stops they have. Oh! Clothesline doesn't even rattle the champion. Same can be said to Cola. Blake ducks under. Oh, and there we go. Both men hit a clothesline at the same time, taking both men down. I don't care 
if you want Vladimir Koloff to win, I don't care if you want Christian Blake to win, this right here is what professional wrestling is all about. Title for title in the main event at 225 Mania. Our official up to a count of seven now as both men battling to get to their feet. But wait, Koloff has the SEC championship because of course he does. But our official perfectly in the position. He's got the chain now, he's got the chain. No, come on! That was the plan the whole time. DJ Petrie didn't see it. Kick out, Christian, kick out! It's a two! Did he get it? That was a it three. Was two. That was it a three. was two! It was 2.99, but, but it was two, and the game changer is still in it. Koloff tried to cheat his way to both belts, but Blake is still alive. And maybe now, doubt could be creeping in to the mind of the SEC champion. Can he actually do it? Is it actually his destiny? Christian Blake is right where Vlad wants him. Koloff calling for it. Going for a cannonball, nobody home! And Blake balls it up, big German suplex! Ishikaroshi over the knee, Vladimir's in trouble! Game over! What? Oh my god! What a match! Blake hit that game over knee that won him the heavyweight title. That has helped him retain it over and over again for 343 days. And it wasn't enough. Vladimir Koloff digging down Deep. Can his destiny be denied? Christian Blake yelling at Koloff says he needs more knee. Double wrist control. Oh, oh, oh. Have another. Vicious, vicious shots to the cranium of Koloff. Koloff has to be fading now. What is it gonna take for either of these men to put the other away? Oh, a drop kick! And Koloff, out of nowhere. Koloff catches him! Koloff catches him! Cannonball! It's a cannonball! Is this Destiny! You don't think. Lowers the knee pad. He hit Twisted Metal Jordan Jaws signature move earlier. He goes for game over. But it doesn't work out. Sling Blade from the Game Changer. Goes for another one. Oh my God, a sickle from Koloff. Oh, and what? a kick out what? from Blake. What? How many times have we seen that sickle be the end? What is it gonna take? Koloff getting comfortable 
trying to get cocky, hitting the game over knee, but ultimately was able to pull off the sickle. But yet, the game changer is still alive. Koloff not backing down, laying in these forearms to the skull. But who has really the upper hand here? I mean, Koloff makes it to his feet first. Oh man, if he hits this. Going for another cannonball, I uh, think. This is gonna be game over. Appropriately used phrase there, Nathan. Here comes Koloff. Oh, good night. But just, and did you see that? Just as it looked like Christian Blake was getting the, getting the motivation to stand up, hits him with another one. Throws Christian, hits him again. Oh no. Christian Blake's in trouble. Koloff calling it. Another sickle takes Blake down. Undeniable destiny. We are now in the era of Russian destruction in Pro Wrestling 225. Promise made, promise kept from Vladimir Kolov. There was only room for one man at the top of the mountain. And tonight, Vladimir Koloff knocked Christian Blake off and is the first ever man to hold both the SEC and the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Championships. Let me tell you something right now. This is only the beginning. You are looking at the new face of Pro Wrestling 225. For Spencer Hunt, Landon Corbin here. There will be a big celebration here in Albany tonight. Signing off. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us. This has been 225 Mania.